Come on in, fans. Let's huddle up and talk about this week's upcoming game with the Duke Blue Devils up in Durham, North Carolina. Over the years, this is our fifth meeting, I believe, with uh, the Duke Blue Devils in our first trip up to Durham, North Carolina. Uh, to be in a hostile environment uh, is good for us. Uh, we haven't had that experience yet, and this is going to help get the Crimson Tide uh, ready for the upcoming games after this. But, uh, you know, I was stunned to find out uh, that Duke actually had beaten the Crimson Tide in a bowl game, the 1945 Sugar Bowl. Uh, well, given the kind of players those guys have over there, uh, I can buy that. You see, right now the Duke Blue Devils are led by David Cutcliffe, the head coach, Birmingham, Alabama native. David's done a fine job in his coaching career. Uh, he's had hands-on coaching efforts with Peyton Manning and Eli Manning, and uh, he's proven he is quite a football coach. So when we go up there, we're going to see a team with disciplined players. Disciplined players in that Duke's not going to hurt themselves with silly penalties. These are smart guys. i got to believe that uh, that leads to a fine discipline in uh, hurting themselves and not hurting themselves, running the wrong plays, uh, blocking the wrong assignments, or making silly penalties. Duke doesn't do that. We're going to have to beat them. Uh, now, Duke does have a potent offense. They played two games. They're one and one, and they scored over 40 points in both outings. They lost a close game to Wake Forest uh, by 54 to 49, some crazy uh, shootout, of course. Well, that leads me to believe that... Uh, there is a flaw with the Duke Blue Devils, and that may be uh, with their defense. The most exciting part of this week for me has been analyzing where our Crimson Tide has come from since the beginning of the year, and where we are now, and hopefully where we're going. In our first two games, we've had the opportunity to play a lot of players, to get them that on-the-field experience, real game-time experience. Uh, that's only going to benefit us big time. We're going to be able to have back on our defense uh, one of our best defensive players that hasn't played it down so far this year, and that's Marcel Darius. I'm happy to see him get back into the lineup because our defense will be tested. These guys are pretty quick over there on the Duke side of the ball and they'll throw a lot of things at us uh, offensively that's going to give our defensive team a lot of work mentally adjusting to what they see as well as maintaining the physical attack our defense puts on. I'm impressed with our defense at this stage of the season, and uh, hopefully we have another strong game, especially with Darius in the lineup. Where we've come from offensively, uh, it, it's been fun and games for us, so to speak. Uh, we've overmatched or outmatched our opponents, that's for sure. I think our team in general, uh, the offense and defense, is built uh, physically physically with strength and with good speed. Offensively, uh, we have the skilled players outside and in the backfield, but the offensive line has been doing a terrific job. The offensive line is where it starts for Mark Ingram now back this week, huh? Trent Richardson gaining yardage, Lacey pounding it up in there, and our passing game all depends on how our offensive line is functioning. And so far, they've been good. I've mentioned our running backs and how I look forward to seeing Mark Ingram back on the field. But folks, uh, uh, we have a group of running backs that can flat out play. And we've got a quarterback that 
The man doesn't make many mistakes. Very few mistakes. The team believes in him, and you see his efficiency as a passer. He's an improved passer. I also like our backup quarterback. A.J. might get into the game this week and get him some more polished because it's going to be a long season. We've got a lot of tough opponents, and it's dangerous to think about looking past Duke. We're not going to look past Duke. That's not Coach Saban's style. We'll be ready to go out there and execute with the intentions of becoming a better team as well. With each practice during the week and each game during the season, we want to improve. Going into our third game, we've shown good improvement, and now the Tide must continue to improve and play a strong defense of a game against Duke. I believe our offense will put up some points, so... The game itself unfolding, unless some things really go squirrely, I can't imagine how many things it would take. I look for our Crimson Tide to come out ahead, but that's not always enough for us. We want to see our team play well. If our team plays well, we're going to beat them up pretty good. Look forward to seeing the Crimson Tide in Durham, North Carolina. Folks back in T-Town, I'm with you. Roll Tide! Ready? Great.